Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Karo Hono no Koku in episode number 15 and 16 reaction. Okay, the previous two episodes. Um, Leon uh, washes up in a village where he meets Lara who helps her out, him out and you know takes him and frees his uh, wounds and everything. While uh, at the same time we see Erman also being treated um, by that girl. I, what was her name it was something called anyways i forgot her name um uh, you know like that girl uh with the laundry you know that girl she's she's you know patching him up while uh alphonse is like you know doing pretty good with uh hunting demons at uh, uh horrors at night and at the at the day he's just like you know doing his kingly duties so everything's kind of normal here um but and little by little leon is also kind of uh you know becoming good standing him like you know stand him up again and these like you know spending time with these people actually made him like you know uh what can i say get his um con not confidence but you know little by little kind of he started becoming better and he stood up he started helping the family out and he is finding someone to protect and which is like these people so uh, his main problem was he had no one to protect them but now he can see that there's so many people who he should protect and uh, yeah it's good and the next episode we see it's like a little alphonse centric episode there was a little bit of leon in it where uh, leon meets emma and emma tells him about what's happening and she goes on her own way that's that but other than that the whole episode was focused on alphonse where he kind of like <laughs> <laughs> runs away from his like you know duties because there's so many things he has to do as a king and he ends up in a place where there's this this guy i forgot everyone's name you know but and then there's like her his daughter who are kind of like you know like attacking people uh because you know like because of this, like some conflict that is happening there's like that guy who that kid moro i think that was his name who wrote letter to her daughter that's why he's harassing the others and erman is here as well and then we get mixed up in like a horror situation where the horror actually uses that hate to get into that guy and you know and then there's that other count as well there was like a legend of um like you know the lilies the white lilies and the makai alchemist that's why erman came here and by the end of it we find out that the makai alchemist uh, was the person who came here to defeat the horrors but the horrors got to her and these horrors are again started fighting against each other again so by the end of it you know like um the defeat like you know erman and um alphonse to defeat those or horrors moro is fine that girl is fine as well and uh, yeah and by the end of it alphonse was like yeah today is you know i'm not going to do anything else <laughs> like <laughs> like today is my break day like i i went through enough so yeah that's how it ends so let's see what these two episodes brings this is episode number um four, four no 15 15 of garo hono no kokuin so yeah let's start so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Whoa. What? Wow, this started in a very... Oh, is he dreaming or something? I'm guessing this is Leon's dream or something. Oh no, it's a recap. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, is, is Leon dreaming this? And then it's like, okay, it's a recap. All right. Where have I heard this voice before? I've heard this voice. Like the person who's voice acting this. Oh, that... A what? Oh. 
Okay. Where have I heard this voice before? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh. Another Knight of How? Oh, making an armor? Okay, so they're trying to make another armor. Whoa, damn. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea, but... Oh no. I am not so sure about this thing that they're trying to do. Like, people can get hurt here. You know, because, like, like, let's, let's think about this like this. Like, let's see, like, let's think that if they are able, somehow able to complete the armor and somehow someone Thinks that all right, the armor is made. Let's go and fight the horrors, and then they die trying to do that because obviously the armor is not a makai armor, so it wouldn't help. So, <laughs> but let's see. You know, I'm, you know what? I feel like um, like this since this is like becoming a big deal, maybe Alfonso will hear about this, and he'll come and he'll. See what's happening or something like that is going to happen let's see Okay, here we go. Project G. Okay, G. I wonder what that stands for. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, they're, they're, they're trying to figure out how they, he looked like. <laughs> wow, everyone's just no. <laughs> yeah, that's Um, kind of looks like Garo a little bit, but still. Okay, so, oh, it's completed? Let's see how it looks like. I feel like the leg is a little bit too thin, the lower part. Strongest. <laughs> Huh. 
<laughs> Decent. <laughs> I'm skinny. It's a decent effort, you know? Like... Uh... Ah! All this is heavy, so... Health moving. Okay. Automatic moving. What the? That's a... Wait a minute. This guy, he, Julio, he, he was in one of the previous episodes, wasn't he? I'm realizing this now. Yeah, this, this guy, this kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was, oh my God, I, I'm realizing that now. Still working? Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's it's him. I realized it now. Oh my god! Like it, it triggered when I saw the his weapon. I'm like, okay, where have I seen that weapon before? And then I realized. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping. Wait, he's oh my god! Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh my god. Damn, he's like... What? <laughs> it's like a backpack he's carrying. Oh no, I feel like something bad is going to happen. It's going to crash into something. Oh no! All right. <laughs> okay. What's in there? Oh no, what? Oh. What? Are you going to use that? <laughs> oh, that's how they're going to use that. Okay. But won't this tear off? Oh, so, okay. This kind of grim. Oh, okay. Okay. Calm down. 
What? <laughs> oh. Still, still. But still. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what the? Ah. Uh, that looks very wrong. Oh my god, again. <laughs> Let's see what goes wrong this time. Okay, well... Yeah. Okay, it's moving. <laughs> Oh no, I feel like something's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> so what are we going to do with this thing? <laughs> do you have a problem? <laughs> Let's see what Alphonse thinks about this. Oh, I'm pretty sure he knows by this point that this, this is happening. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, man. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there you go, he knows. <laughs> uh, let them have their fun. I think it, nothing will happen. Okay. <laughs> oh no people are coming with uh, requests here okay oh my god I was just fearing for that now if they try to go and attack Okay, come on, don't, oh my god, this was what I was kind of fearing. Like, they are going to do this thing, like, now they are going to, oh my god. Oh, it's, oh, it's young. He has a lot of scars. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! And... <laughs> I think he's someday going to go back.
<laughs> yeah grandpa knows grandpa knows bro when he will be able to walk on his own he'll he'll start walking again oh my god here we go ah uh, Okay. <laughs> uh, oh no. Yeah, like what are you going to do? To okay. It's a demon bear, bear or whatever. Like, what can they even do? Okay. Oh no! I really hope Alphonse comes. Yo, you guys, come on. Uh, uh. Oh my god, yeah, thank god, they're, they're here, I think. Oh my, yo, these guys, Jeez. Okay. Oh wait, it's just a bear. Okay. God damn. <laughs> oh wait, Leon, uh, not Leon, Alphonse and Erman are in some other village. This is not the monster they're talking about. Oh, maybe that's uh, Leon's place that they're in. That'll be interesting. Like, this is just a normal bear. Like, this is no horror. Garo punch. Okay, I think you, they might be able to handle this. Because this is a normal bear. Or maybe not. Oh! Yo! Um. Oh, no, no. It's the same place. Okay, never mind. What? Yo, there's a, any eject button? Uh, there is an emergency exit. All right, move. Move. Oh, tear it off, tear it off. Uh, oh no. Um, hopefully Alfonso came and saved him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they don't know that he goes out fighting. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. But please don't do that again because this time it was a normal bear. Next time it will really be a horror. Yeah. All right. We should. Yeah, we should put out the fire. Okay, so. Mm. Yeah. That's true. Hmm. Okay. Well, I for a moment there in the middle, I thought that there was something going on. I thought like they were since they were talking about like an horror. I thought um, Leon and um, Ivan actually went to another different village, and maybe that village is actually the place where Leon is currently staying. While these guys, they're basically fighting the normal bear because that's a normal bear. That's not a horror. horror. So. I thought it's something like that was going to happen, but no, it, it was fairly simple. <laughs> there was no complications in that whole thing. All right, thankfully everything went pretty good and no one got hurt. Like, I really hope they stop doing this because as I said, next time it will be a horror and that's when they can't do anything. So, even though it is kind of like, you know, nice to see like, yeah, the people standing up for themselves, but <laughs> there is a time and place for that. So I really hope after that, uh, Alphonse and Ermin really just, you know, like told them properly that, you know, guys, this time it was a bear. You guys went off, like, you know, were, went off unscathed, but please don't do this because next time it might really be a demon. So, yeah don't all right that's the end all right this was another um alfonso centric episode or like not alfonso centric but santa bar centric episode um so <clears throat> it starts with the people just saying like oh we are we ourselves will are going to make a golden armor like this which is going to save us and now, for, at the beginning, I really did not realize the kid was actually that kid in one of the previous episodes. You know that episode where uh, we come to Santa Bart and uh, Leon meets um, this kid and being like, you know, like... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was being mistreated or something like, something like that and he meets him and then we go to that and then there's that other blacksmith, you know, whose son has gone off and because of that uh like you know lingering um you know like what can i say a negative emotion you know of his son's death the, the sword actually had like a horror in it and it, it got into that that episode i'm talking about it was it was from that episode this this kid and i was i completely did not catch that in the beginning few uh minutes of the episode so after like you know we, we after this this showed the sword i was like wait a minute like this this seems kind of familiar and then i realized that it's the same kid i was like oh yeah okay, okay so it's the same kid oh all right and so the villagers here they are like all right let's make um an armor and <laughs> at first i was kind of concerned i was like all right like they're definitely going to after making the armor like they'll be able to make the armor but after making it i'm sure someone is going to put it in you know like wear it and go out trying to fight uh, horrors and that's when everything will go wrong so <laughs> i knew that was coming <laughs> that did happen eventually but hopefully everything went well and no one was hurt so they made the armor with uh, a lot of different things like you know like a lot of people gave a lot of different ideas it didn't work out in the beginning and then they tried again and again and the uh, you know the kid as well he <coughs> he sketched all the um what do you call them designs no yeah yeah blueprint blueprint 
blueprint and stuff and made more things to make the armor easy to move and a lot of all the other people helped as well and <laughs> they, they even like used intestine that that part was kind of <laughs> kind of funny he's the, like you know the, the pancho i think that's the name of the guy the butcher he comes in and he's like oh like this is this is this intestine is what did he say like the best <laughs> Yeah, he's like these intestines are from one and my only son Sebastian. I'm like, wait a minute, where is this going? <laughs> and then he's like, oh, it's a pig. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I guess it's better than a human, but still, that's still kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> like, I'm I'm pretty sure he probably adored the, uh, you know, little pig. And after it died, he's like, all right, let's just use this intestine to. <laughs> On the on the arm on the on the armor or whatever we are making, but yeah, all right. Anyways, um, so they make the armor and it starts moving and everyone's like, oh yeah, we were able to make it. All the citizens they're happy and all. Now one thing, I feel like kind of worked out a bit, but Alphonse himself got to know about. It. Like I was going to say that one thing was kind of working out well is the people now actually know where to go to ask for help like for example after the armor was made everyone got to know that that yeah this is the golden armor and so that that lady came to them for help so they at least like have a destination to come and tell their problems but still even if that was the case alphonse himself got to know about that problem from some other sources you know like he has a lot of people posted in his whole kingdom like a lot of uh, people keeping an eye out on the different things so from that he was able to know that something's going on in that village so he was also able to know that so i guess yeah it wouldn't matter much like like eventually alfonso is going to know about any problem that happens in his kingdom and he's going to go and try to solve it so yeah anyways but uh yeah this these lady comes in and his she's like all right like i have a problem my husband has been killed and then there's this monster like okay so at the beginning when they <laughs> go to exterminate that monster it, they kind of like you know did it <laughs> made the monster seem like a horror and like i don't know why but it never crossed my mind that i realized it was a bear but it never crossed my mind that since it's a bear it's not a horror like at first I really thought it was a horror but then I was like wait a minute do bear even have horrors like I do wonder like you know like a negative emotions I'm guessing uh yeah I'm guessing even animals have negative emotions so can horrors get them you know can horrors control them or do they control them I do wonder because oh uh, I don't know like you know like a horror bear can that happen just like how horrors take advantage of humans negative emotions or like you know like like for example revenge or sadness these type of emotions they take uh, advantage of that gets into the human consumes them and become that person so can they do that to animals as well probably not because animals yeah, i don't know like even if it is possible i don't think the horrors will try to take an animal you know control of an animal because i'm sure the horrors are fairly intelligent and they would realize that yeah instead of an animal it will be a lot better to take control of a human so i think maybe it's possible but they wouldn't do that i think it's something like that most probably i'm sure it's possible to take control of an animal but they wouldn't do that because that kind of defeats the point of an horror and like you know like <laughs> Something like that, I'm guessing. I don't know. Anyways, just came to my mind. But yeah, the bear, it was like a bear that was attacking them. And at first, I really thought that was a horror. And, <laughs> and they're like, all right, let's get that thing. Let's fight it. Okay, in the middle of uh, the episode, we see a little bit of Leon. Now, one thing like which the grandfather like, you know, grandpa was able to say correctly 
uh, not one thing, but the thing that he said was true, that Leon is not a person who is going to stay here. He is a person who is going to move forward in the future. And this is for the time being that he'll be here. And in the future, after he stands back up again, he's going to move forward and move on. So, yeah, that's basically what's going to happen. And it's true, you know, like, Leon, yeah, like, he, he, he definitely is going to go back and, like, protect the people. And at I, we don't know when it's going to happen. It's, it's probably going to take a little bit of time. And but surely one day. But yeah, I, I'm glad that Leon is getting the break, a well-deserved break. <laughs> he was too stressed out up until now. It was always like, yeah, fight, fight, destroy horrors, destroy horrors, that type of a mentality. But I'm glad he's just sitting down and taking a break now. Like, yeah, that was definitely needed. <clears throat> okay, so, you know what's the funny thing here? Mm, like, I just realized, um, Leon has been going on in this whole, like, you know, revenge, this thing. You know, he has been constantly stressed out. Um, I'm guessing as soon as he was able to gain, uh, you know, like gain, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, gain awareness of his surroundings. Like, you know, as soon as he realized that, yeah, like, you know, my mom is not, not here anymore. My dad is only here. My mom was killed like this, this and that. From that point onwards, he became this type of a stressed out person just trying to get his revenge. And it has been continuing from that day onwards up until now. So he has been constantly in that state where he was just in turmoil. So now he's getting a well-deserved break. Why? Alphonse, from the moment of his birth, he, has, he didn't have any type of problem like that. He was constantly at peace, no problem, a happy family. He's a, he's a prince, one and only prince. You know, he did, did his own things, had fun and everything. And he has been getting that well-deserved break up until this time and now after inheriting Garo he has he's just packed with work now <laughs> he's a king he has to fight the demons and this and that like like it's like a reverse thing you know like <laughs> when Alphonse like is like you know in a state of break uh, Leon was all constantly like you know just uh, struggling with his thing while now Leon is getting his break while <laughs> Alphonse is struggling with his duties now <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Okay, anyways, that's just that just came into my mind. Okay, so <clears throat> now we go to that place and here uh, the, the bear comes out. The bear starts attacking them and they start fighting and um yeah, and in the middle of it they realize it's just a bear. It's nothing else. And then we suddenly shift the perspective and we go to uh, Leon uh, uh, Erman and Alphonse where they are like you know standing here and here at that moment i thought maybe they're going to do a little twist here maybe you know since it's like a horror that they're tracking and that was a normal bear i thought it would actually be two different villages you know like these people will be fighting in one village while erman and alfonso will be in an other different village where an actual horror is there you know and they're going to fight that and i was thinking maybe that village would be leon's village and they're going to meet them you know, uh, something like that is going to happen. But turns out there's nothing complicated like that. It actually was the same place. <laughs> and uh, thank God it was the same place because if it was not, then um, the old man would have died. So, yeah. And they do fall, fight bravely and get the bear. Self presses the self destruct bu button, tries to eject, but unfortunately he gets stuck. Now, <laughs> now. <laughs> Oh my god, like, thankfully, Erman was there, he just comes and saves them, and, like, yeah, like, it's it's all happy, you know, I'm, I'm glad that everything ended happy, but they should never do this again, because, yeah, next time they'll really die. So, I really hope they realize that maybe this is not for us. It's like, the, the, the sentiment, their, like, you know, what do you call it? The determination, that's really good. That's beautiful. You know, the little scene we see after that where everyone's happy and Arman and uh, Alphonse is just standing there and uh, uh, Arman is like, yeah, these people, they're not weak. 
um like we should still like you know uh alfonso was like yeah that's why we should definitely protect them it was a very happy scene it was a very you know like motivating scene but please don't do that again like yeah this is a very lucky you know like um chance that you got you you, you probably would have died if arman was not here so imagine if they try to do this again and they actually meet a horror oh boy so yeah, everything's well and good, and like, please don't repeat this. I'm sure they wouldn't because you know, like, nah, I'm sure Alfonso. And even if they try to do that, I'm sure Alfonso will stop them. And you know, like, because Alfonso always has you know, his people just posted out everywhere, and he's just ready and seeing whatever is happening. So if something like this happens again, I'm sure Alfonso will know before them, and he'll try to take care of that. So yeah and that was it i think yeah that's it that was um episode 15 so yeah let's get started with episode number 16 now so all right so okay just a sec so here we go uh episode number 16 of garo Holo no Kokui. so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one, go. <coughs> what the? Is that a plague doctor mask? Yeah, it's a plague do doctor mask. Fabian. Wandering Doctor Fabian. Oh, so they know him. What he treats people or something? Okay, like, oh my God, he himself is sick. What? Are, are you okay? Like, you seem. Oh boy, that 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 person is not happy about this. Oh no, okay. Oh, okay, okay, so well, that's what. Oh. Oh boy, I feel like there's something fishy going on with this Fabian character. Ah. It's, it's probably he's a horror or something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh boy. Oh my god, that's a red flag. Do what the? Oh, okay. Oh, so it's a normal. Oh no, is he going to? Is he going to take his mask and become the doctor himself? Oh no. I feel like that's what he's going to do. He's going to kill him and take the mask for him. Oh my god, I knew that was going to happen. Ah! Yeah, oh my god. Great, there's a horror involved as well. Great. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Wait, so the horror was just waiting in that book? It didn't actually get to the original Fabian up until now? But he's going to rise up from the... I think... Oh no, wait, I thought he was going to... So he's still keeping his identity a secret. So Oh, he's going to leave the village. Oh, that's why, okay. Okay, okay, it makes sense. He just left the village. 
wow, how did I get that? You know, as soon as I saw him getting in, the guy just fallen in the ground and he just looking at the book. I was like, oh, this kid is up to no good. He's probably going to kill him. And since Fabian Sensei is a plague doctor and he has a mask, he's going to, you know, like, like hide his identity and try to take his place. Wow. Wait, so what the hell is, was up with the book? So Fabian had that book and the horror was in it and it never tried to get into Fabian or maybe Fabian. I'm talking about the original one, the original Fabian. And the horror was just waiting like what? Oh, probably Fabian didn't show any type of weakness or something, you know, like any type of negative emotions. He probably didn't show it. That's why the horror wasn't able to get into him. And Joe was just waiting for an opportunity to get to someone else. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, this, this thing is going to come. Oh! <laughs> oh wow. Yep, there you go. Himena, that's his name. I'm glad that Arman is here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> What the? Oh my god, there's so many people. Yeah. That guy looks suspicious on a. <laughs> with a cap. Ah. Wow. What's up with those old men with the hat? Maybe they're Alfonso's people, keeping an eye out on everything. Dressed like this. Oh. Ah, that's true. <laughs> oh, talking about him. Just like you. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> what? Uh. Uh. That's a fool. Wait, what's Jimena doing here again? Oh wait, she's the, um, oh, she's helping her, him out. Okay, I forgot about that. Oh no.
Yeah. It's probably... Uh... Okay. Well... Oh no. Okay, who is this now? Oh, that lady. Um, yeah. Great. And that's what the, the thing was for, I'm guessing. I really hope Arman was able to understand what happened, what's happening. He was there with them, so maybe he suspects what is following him. Probably thinking that he, he's going to meet those girls or something like that. I don't think it's... There you go. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah did he did she not catch him calling him uncle What? What? Wait, I don't understand. What? Oh, I think... I've been kicked out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh. Wait, I don't understand why she got mad. Like, oh my god. Okay, here we go. Oh god. <sighs> well. Oh, oh my god. Wait, what the? What's happening? Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's a plague! Wait, how did she get that? And uh, the doctor also seems pretty surprised by it. Collapsed. So Evan has not been here, has not been here for. Uh... 
Wait, oh! Oh, that's what he's trying to do! Well, I do hope she gets better, but after that you need to, you know, like, defeat this guy. Yeah, yeah, he realized that, yeah, this guy is also a potential suspect, he realized that. As soon as he said that different parts of the city, Herman was like, wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Oh boy. Ah! Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh wow. That makes it better? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so what? Like, oh my god. Obviously. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Alright, I feel like this will be an easy battle. Because as soon as he dons his armor, there you go. Okay. Okay, this seems, this horror seems a little bit stronger. Oh, he's healing himself. Okay, this is a problem. Oh, great. Oh my god! Mm. Oh my god. Alright. Oh! Get him now! <laughs> Oh wow, this guy is... <laughs> He's like, alright, let me patch you up quickly. <laughs> oh my god, this is a very weird type of a... Alright, en enough, enough of your treatment. He's like, oh, this is... Oh, oh thanks for healing me. Yeah, let's. You, sorry, you couldn't, couldn't, you know, cure your stupidity. That's one thing you weren't able to cure. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this thing. Imagine the enemy healing you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was a weird battle.
I really hope nothing happens because he injected something to him. No side effects, hopefully. And medicine worked, I think. Yeah. I wonder where she got the plague from. Yeah. You weren't as struck. Oh, that's what she thought? Oh my god. Uh, that's why she was mad. Okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah, because he's his uncle. That's why he bowed, bowed his head. Obviously not. Oh, that's why she was... <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, well, five and six has gone on a vacation, you know? Yeah. God damn. What the? What's that? That seems suspicious. What the hell is that? Someone spying on them? Wait, he's just beside you. Can't you just turn your head? Eh. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's probably Garms. Okay, yeah. Hmm. What? What is happening? Well, I obviously knew Mendoza is alive, but... But work with him? What? What? What does that mean? That was weird. Okay. I'm sure we'll get to know next episode. Was that a translation error? I'm going to check that part out. She said work with Mendoza, didn't she? I'll have to check that part.
Okay, that's the end. All right, so wait, wait a minute. Let me go go back a little bit. Um, Garn said work with, didn't she? Just a second. Yeah. <laughs> wait, why did she call him Mendoza? Isn't his name Mendoza? <laughs> Mendoza, what? <laughs> okay. Mendoza ni yoruku shite morau. Yeah. Ni, that means with. So, yeah, it's not a translation error. He's, she says with, so okay, that's kind of weird. So, what? Mendoza got the beating of his life and he realized that he has been in the wrong. And that's why he's going to. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> he's like, nope, I'm not doing this again. Oh, God. I know that's obviously a joke. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's something going on behind the back. Like, uh, like, uh, I don't know. Anyways, let's stop thinking much about it because I'm sure I'll get my answer next week. So, anyways, all right. So this episode, we meet this guy here. Uh, what's his name? The plague doctor. Um, what's his name? Fabian. Fabian. Yeah, yeah, Fabian. Okay. Uh, Fabian sensei comes to a village and he is like yeah I just need a little shelter and a little food uh, in return of that I'm going to help you guys out and uh, look at all of your sick people and then there's this another person who is probably another one of those troubled teenagers who like you know like who's, who, who doesn't have any parents and who is thinking about going out of the you know village to make some money and fame something like that that type of a setting and at first he was like all right i'm going to become a doctor and i'm going to fabian sensei for that he goes there and he sees fabian sensei sensei has played and he's like wait a minute like that I, I i caught what he was trying to do at that moment when he was looking at the book and looking at fabian and i was like oh my god is he is he going to try to kill him and take his place and yeah that's what he was planning he <clears throat> he killed him and he's like, all right, I'm going to be, you know, uh, the doctor now. So I was wondering what type of a stupid move that was. Like, he, like, what can he do even if he takes his place? You know, he doesn't have any doctor skills. So what's he going to do? Only, like, you know, go around, like, you know, and trying to save, help people, but wouldn't be able to do his doctor work because he doesn't even have any knowledge or skills. Like, he's going to get a bad reputation. Like, I, I, I was like, what the hell is he even doing? And he just killed the doctor where who while he could have just you know just asked for his help and learned all the skills from him and then go on his own way but then comes the horror the horror is like all right i'm going to give you the skills and i'm like oh, okay that's where he going, he's going to get his skills from and there you go he gets his skill while the horror gets into him and yeah all right so then he leaves the place and we are back to Santabad, where Erman is, as always, being a slob. <laughs> uh, and Himena, Himena is just like, like, what the hell, like, she's, she's just, you know, oh my god. And then, um, so she, she helps out, like, that's like her job, I'm guessing, she helps out. And the doctor or something like that? Like, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing he, he, she kind of de does these type of, like, you know, part-time jobs. Like, uh, she said, like, I'm going to help, go help the doctor today. So probably one day she goes, helps the doctor, probably some other job now and then. And she also has her, like, you know, helps her dad out, I'm guessing, all that stuff. So, yeah, so since the doctor was here, she decided to go help him out and, you know, like, earn a living like that. So he, she goes and takes Arman with him, with her as well, because Arman is, you know, Arman's head is injured. And now, you know what's interesting here? Um, I thought Arman was able to, will be able to understand that this guy is a fake one, but he wasn't. And I realized why he wasn't able to understand that, because this guy, this Fabian, he really was trying his best to cure the people like that's the tricky thing about this horror this horror is a weird one 
he he had his own like you know um its own goal of consuming humans but at the same time he had the goal of actually um surpassing fabian so he really was trying to help the people out for his own twisted goals and after helping them out after like you know curing them he was just going to eat them so his like you know his actual intention of curing the people was genuine that's why urban wasn't able to really like you know understand that this guy was a fake one because he went there and he kind of observed him and when he came out he was like oh fabian sensei is great you know if you actually uh like you know go and uh you know, go for your like you know if you're sick you go to him he's going to cure you because he wasn't able to understand that this is like a fake person because his like you know his intention of helping others and curing people was genuine that's why he wasn't able to track that so it's interesting like i realized that later on when i saw him like you know in the later proportion where he just tries to catch up Erman even while in the middle of the fight i realized so this is the reason why Erman wasn't able to re like you know understand that yeah this guy is a fake doctor so yeah his <laughs> his his intention of curing people was genuine and pure so that's you know that was like a plus point for this guy even though after curing the people he did his own horror things so all right so um himena is you know like takes him to the doctor and after like you know the uh what do you call it after the treatment they go out okay one thing uh in the in the queue i was seeing that there were like a few people one or two people with this type of a hat i don't know if i'm looking too much into it with this type of a hat and with a little cane just looking down like this not showing their faces <laughs> from I, I think like i think these are like i don't know like alfonso spies or something maybe they they're keeping an eye out on the the whole <laughs> town and seeing as if like you know if anything's going wrong they're going to report to the king something like that i, I don't know <laughs> um, i just thought of it like that because they look suspicious those two old men just standing there with their hat and the little cane all right okay they come out and then there's this lady with his with her son um talking about you know the like, what type of like, you know they've they come here to go and to fabian <laughs> and here <laughs> Armin talks about the ugliness when you're consumed by desire and then two ladies come in and they're like oh Armin, you're you're not why are why don't you come <laughs> himena is mad <laughs> oh my god Okay, now the doctor gives Himena a thing, a, a, like a, like a, 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 what was that? Like a cream or something, which you're supposed to put on your hands so that your hands, uh, like you know, the like the 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 little rash and everything that was in her hand that kind of goes away. So um, I realized it later on. She was actually doing that for Erman because she thought that Erman was not like you know interested in her or something like that. That's why she was. You know, like she knew that she had to do the, the jobs that she does. You know, that's why her hands kind of always get a little rough and maybe like, you know, uh, sometimes get cut or like, you know, rashes and everything uh, because he does. She does a, like, you know, hard job. And that's why she was asking for that cream to put in her on her, on her hands from Fabian. And. Uh, yeah, OK, like. All right, so after that, uh, but just a second. Oh, you know what? Okay, okay, I'll talk about that later. One thing I kind of realized. Um, so after that, the next day, we see that uh, Himena starts following Erman. I thought, like, I think Himen actually followed him because she thought that she was going to meet those ladies or something, probably because of that. So she did not expect suddenly, like, you know, like a, a guy in a hood coming up and him talking to him and then when the wind blew and it came off he was like wait a minute that's our prince and i don't know what type of conclusions she came into after seeing that i was extremely confused after that you know <gasps> excuse me ah. because he go <laughs> after herman comes back she goes and she's like 
wait a minute, where is it? She's like, oh yeah, there isn't any other reason you're like you know you you're staying in here, isn't it? You're here because you're someone's forcing you to do it, and she just leaves. I'm like, wait, what's happening? What what did she even say? I really genuinely did not understand what she was mad about at that moment, and it later makes sense because she thought that Alfonso was bowing to him because he was like some kind of aristocrat and she like you know he's staying here because Alfonso told him to and like you know, he's being forced to stay here and that's why she was mad at that moment and oh my god I'm like what is happening <laughs> why did she suddenly get mad at that it makes sense after like you know later on like she jumped into like a lot of conclusions seeing that one scene <laughs> Okay, and and she's like, yeah, you you don't have to live here anymore. This and she just goes runs away. <laughs> oh my god! Later on, Alfonso comes and he he sees the German just moping around. Uh, Erman is like, ah, oh, I cannot. Don't worry, Alfonso. Even if something bad happens, I'm a Makai knight. I know my duty and I'll fulfill it. Like, I'm 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 not emotionally, you know, like okay right now but i'll do it you know it's my duty no problem <laughs> now okay i think i understood after this what happened uh, she put on the cream on her hand was that the reason why she got that plague i was like how did she get that plague suddenly i think it was because of that wasn't it yeah it was probably because of that like the the, the cream contained something and um, you know, like, and, uh, uh, what was his name? I forgot his name again. The doctor. Anyways, you know, he, he gave that to him, her, so that he contacts that disease, you know, contacts the plague, he gets sick, and so that she, he could, you know, like, try to treat her and surpass the previous doctor. Like, that, Fabian, that was his name. And surpass Fabian. That was what he was trying to do. Like, that's messed up isn't isn't it like you know he 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 deliberately but what else do i even expect from a horror you know like this is a horror we are talking about like obviously they will be messed up but yeah thinking about it like that so basically he he infected himena just so that he could treat her and get an ego boost something like that i'm guessing <laughs> wow okay but yeah, I, I feel like this horror was the most unusual one because he, he had like a goal which was differing, which was a little different from other horrors. Like other horrors had like, like goals of like, oh, consuming humans, like, you know, uh, spreading chaos, this, that. He, he had a different goal of like surpassing Fabian, like that type of a goal. And he, could, he would do any kind of thing to go to his goals. You know, even infect his own patients so yeah weird this horror was really weird but it helped us out in the long run you know because in the final battle that really helped okay Himena goes back to uh, the doctor and she fall, like, you know, falls down sick uh, the plague is in, has infected her uh, Herman comes back and we could see that Herman did not like you know come here for like a couple of days and he was like wait where's Himena and the dad is like, oh, Himena has, like, you know, like, has contacted a disease for a few days. Herman goes quickly. And here's where we see, you know, uh, the doctor. Like, he was like, oh, I'll con conquer the plague that doc even Fabian wasn't able to do that. Like, and, like, you know, trying to cure her. And he's like, oh, after I cure her, like, it will be the best, like, you know, meal or whatever. So, basically what he does is he... Damn, this... <laughs> Yeah, this horror is way egotistical. Like, so basically what he does is, he, like, some people, like, you know, like, he goes to different places where there's sick people, he cures them, and then consumes them. Wow, okay. Yeah, like, the curing part he does because of his ego, you know, he's like, ah, oh, look at me, I'm so great. You know, I've, I've, I'm surpassing Fabian every moment. Like that type of a like you know self uh like you know thing like you know he he kind of gets like a kick out of it you know like that type of like a narcissistic thing that he he does he's like yeah look at me i'm so great after curing the patient and after that he just consumes them and 
that's why like you know this was like the the ultimate thing that he wanted to do is cure the plague that even fabian wasn't able to do so that's why he was like oh this meal will be amazing because i'm going to cure uh the plague and which even fabian wasn't able to do and i'm going to then consume her like that was such so great right damn that's uh messed up yeah okay i understand what his intentions actually were so <clears throat> he like he he's like you know trying to cure her urban comes in and urban is like all right like you know a doctor like please cure her this and that they were talking about and fabian was like like a, it is with a slip of a tongue he was like oh a lot of people come here you know and i cured them that's when <laughs> Erman realized like wait a minute like you know we were seeing a lot of people getting like you know going missing in a lot of different places i thought that the reason behind that was the horror was actually traveling but what if the horror is in one place and everyone's coming to him from different places and that would mean that fabian is the like you know the biggest suspect in that that's when it like you know struck him and he's he, at first he was like all right like you know fine i'll go and he just leaves fabian tries to consume himena after that because you know like himena was almost cured and that's when herman comes in and stops him you know they start fighting and oh boy this was a tricky uh, fight because this guy uh, or a horror could heal himself so he's fighting and healing himself like an annoying enemy to fight you know like like if you if you if in a boss battle if if the boss <laughs> heals every turn after you deal a considerable damage and nullifies your damage in the end that's annoying so <laughs> He's basically he was basically that type of a character but unfortunately because of his big ego and his pure um you know like uh, what do you call it like pure uh what can you say like you know intention nah uh pure anyways like you know like if he because of his um tendency of trying to cure everything and like at that part he was a real doctor you know only for that part where he really tries to cure everything and his doctor senses kick is, kicks in and he's like oh i'm going to cure this and uh, that type of a thing like you know since he had that type of a personality as soon as he saw herman being injured he's like oh my god i can't control myself i'll have to heal him and he just brings out the bandages and stuff like brings out the <laughs> healing cream and everything just patches him up and he's like here we go like you know you're fine <laughs> and oh my god and he's like i, I <laughs> there has never been anything that i w haven't been able to cure <laughs> unfortunately he has not been able to cure his stupidity <laughs> that's the only thing he hasn't been able to cure and that's what actually <laughs> causes him his life herman is like all right you patched me up and here you go and just <laughs> defeats him in one shot and he just just you know like just vanishes disappears and i'm like my god that was a weird battle like imagine the enemy suddenly trying to heal you after dealing damage to you that like that's weird and yeah that's why this this horror was weird and because of his weirdness we were able to win otherwise i don't think Ayman would have been able to win here because this guy literally just heals himself after every turn so how are you even going to defeat him like unless and until you 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 deal like a considerable damage in one turn i'm talking as if this is a video game or something anyways um so <clears throat> yeah the horror is dead and uh, erman goes back to himena himena is like um okay um himena like actually talks to him about the you know like the reason why he's he reacted like that she reacted like that she's like okay here it is you were an aristocrat or that you were forced yourself to stay here yeah that's what she thought so she thought that Armin has been you know is being forced to stay here and that's why she got mad at that and Armin is like wait i'm not an aristocrat like you've seen me you know like <laughs> like how i just like you know i'm so like sloppy so like it's impossible for an aristocrat to be like that <laughs> they're like oh yeah you're right okay now the thing that she says here 
is like she says like so you're not forcing yourself to stay here he's like no i'm here because i want to stay here genuinely and himana says then why are you so polite only with me he's like well is it because of my clothes or my hands okay so that's what was bothering her up until now so she was thinking like i guess like you know seeing those girls as well probably just like you know kind of made her realize she was like wait a minute why does she he treat me like this while with the other girls he's just so you know like so outgoing and she 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 probably thought after that like maybe because of my clothes or my hands and you know maybe because he is an aristocrat and he's been forced to stay here that's why and all of this like you know collectively i think made her mad and she just kind of you know got angry at that 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 portion so because of that but like i feel like this is the reason behind it is because arman is genuinely i don't know like i feel respectful towards himena unlike the other people like in the other girls that she he hangs she hangs out with for for him and i it's like a genuine thing so that's the reason why he is so like you know like so re like restraining her himself so much something like that and uh yeah that's where it and then like uh, they're like you know, kind of conversing talking and then like a, a bird comes in and herman understood that it was actually garn calling for him he goes back and garn is like i'm going to have you work with mendoza from here on i'm like what herman is also like what and yeah like what is that like yeah okay i'm 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 sure i'll get my answer next episode <laughs> so all right and i'm guessing after this we're going to get into like you know the more uh like chaotic part because up in these few episodes you know these four episodes everything has been a little bit too peaceful i feel like something's going to happen after this so yeah let's wait for it so that's it thanks for watching this was my reaction to episode number um 15 and 16 of Garo Hono no Kokuin. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Right? If you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next two uh, next week with two more episodes of Garo Hono no Kokuin. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.